Hello everybody, this is Gregory at the Cinema Rag. I hope you're doing well today. Today, I'm gonna to talk about five actresses in the 30s that need to have children quickly. Now, before I begin, if you appreciate my content, please like this video, post a comment, because some of you women might disagree here, and some of you men will be like, yeah, high five. And hit the notification subscribe button if you haven't done so already. So I'm drinking my fermented dark Chinese tea here. It's still relatively warm. I want to do an episode on this. And yes, you could definitely say this is from a male perspective because some of you women, and I've seen it and done in, in other episodes that I've done, like, how dare you tell women to have kids? Well, I think in this case, it'd be a crime to humanity. And of course, that's a, that's an, a hyperbole. But it would be a crime to humanity for these beautiful women who are in their 30s not to have children. And so we're, we're going to narrow this down. And we might do a part two because sadly, there's a lot of beautiful actresses who don't have children, but we're going to narrow this down. So it's not going to be actresses in their 20s because maybe they will have kids. And it's not going to be actresses in their 40s or who are already menopausal that never had kids. So someone like Heather Graham, someone like Renee Zellweger, Jennifer Aniston. So we're because they can't have kids biologically. And when we talk about have kids, we're not talking about adopting kids like Charlize Theron did. We're talking about biologically having kids. And I think it's important for these women to have kids because they're beautiful and right? we would want to see their beautiful children. Uh, you look at actresses in their 30s who do have kids. Look at Blake Lively. I mean, Ryan Reynolds has bred her out four times and she's only 36. And I would not be surprised if she has a fifth kid. And like, I don't have a problem with big families, especially if it's rich people that have big families because certainly they can afford it. So I think it's great when they have large families. Reese Witherspoon, she has three kids. Scar jo has two kids. So these are all out of contention. These are going to be women in their 30s whether married or not married, who need to have kids. And I will also comment on their talent or what I think of them and their beauty. So yes, we are objectifying women. So women, if you don't like that, you can unsubscribe. All right, so no particular order. Number one, Karen Gillum. Karen Gillum, of course, probably famous for Doctor Who, Jumanji, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, you'll, you'll notice that some of these women are women that I've done previous episodes on or they're part of my Sexy Saturday edition. Of, of when I did this as a podcast originally where I would highlight a beautiful woman or a woman that I found to be beautiful at that and I would release this episode on Saturday hence the name Sexy Saturday so even though when they get moved over here to YouTube maybe you see them drop on a Tuesday you don't understand why they're called Sexy Saturday Karen Gill and I have a Sexy Saturday on um, she's tall she's attractive no kids she needs to have kids um, I, I, I particularly like redheads. Um, there's some redheads out there that maybe are not that well-known, like Eleanor Tomlinson, who was in the, the TV show Poldark. There's something that I just love, the, the redhead look on a woman, and Karen Gillum has that, and I think she's quite lovely. Number four, uh, Brie Larson. Okay, so Brie Larson, also in her 30s, um, not a big fan of her as an actress. I think she was great in Room. Did she deserve the Academy Award for that? And it remains to be seen. But her career since then has been certainly lackluster. You look at Lessons from Chemistry, her TV show. You look at her work on, of course, as, as Mar Captain Marvel. Um, she, she doesn't come off that well, that friendly and so forth. But she was in a long-term relationship about a year ago. She admitted that she was single and that she is debating whether or not to have a family. And so she's reaching, I think she's like 34. So she's kind of reaching that period where she knows she needs to make a decision. Um, I, I don't find her like super beautiful, but she's attractive and I think she should have kids. But really it comes to these three. These three women, I think, really need to have kids. Number one, or number, I should say number three, Anna de Armas. Anna de Armas, Cuban, beautiful woman. Um, is she a good actress? We have an episode here when it was a podcast about is she a talented actress or just a sex pot? I mean, because no doubt she has a unique face. Like if you see something like Knives Out, you really don't notice it, but they really may kind of ugly her down in Knives Out. But I would tell you, she looks the most beautiful. It would not be in Blonde. It would not be in that really bad spy movie she did with Chris Evans. But if you see Deep Water with Ben Affleck, where she they're married and she's the woman who steps out on him and has an open relationship and he's kind of okay with it. And then all the people and the guys that she's sleeping with, including Jacob Elordi, mysteriously die. Um, she is just stunningly beautiful in that movie. And that movie is not that good of a movie. It's directed by Adrian Lyne, who also did Fatal Attraction and Unfaithful. He's really good at these kind of psychosexual uh, movies. The movie's not that good, but she is just gorgeous in this movie. And again, she's in her mid-30s. Um, she was in a relationship with Ben Affleck during COVID. And again, you know, she is getting older. And not to like anger women or anything like that, but we know that a woman is considered to have a geriatric womb when she's 35. And so the, the amount of eggs that she has by the time she hits 35 is only about 10% of what she was born with. 
And yes, there's reproductive assistance, reproductive endocrinology. We, we see like Hilary Swank had a kid when she was 48, 49. So it's possible, but there, there's a separate thing between not having kids yet and never wanting to have kids. So you look at like Alison Brie, she's come out and said she never wants to have kids. Miley Cyrus, she says she never wants to have kids. That is one thing. It's another thing when you're putting your career before your desire or intention to have children and then you wait too long and then you might not be able to have children. And that's why I think the way Reese Witherspoon did it, having two kids when she was in her early 20s was kind of a smart thing to do. And then later on, she had her third kid with Jim Toth, the agent who she later divorced. We have an episode on that. So, uh, Anna Darmus, I mean, gorgeous woman. I don't know if she's that talented, but she's beautiful face, beautiful eyes. She needs to have kids. Number one, number two, or I should say number four, number five, uh, Dakota Johnson. Dakota Johnson needs to have kids for a couple of reasons. One, I think she's attractive. She's one of my sexy Saturdays, especially if you look at her when she was younger, like in Social Network, of course, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, she has that look that I really like, that Anastasia Steele look, that, the, the bangs, the virginal look. I, I just have a very strong pull or proclivity toward uh, women that look sweet, slender, tall, but sweet, kind of ingenue looking. And she really plays that well in Fifty Shades. I do think she's attractive. Uh, we talked about her recently and that she's, well, I think Madam Webb is a movie that's going to that bomb. She's got the lead on that. But she's been dating the Chris Martin, the lead singer of Coldplay, for at least four or five years now. Of course, he was married to Gwyneth Paltrow at her peak. I would say, honestly, her peak was probably when Ben, ben Affleck and Brad Pitt are, were with her. But he had her when, when she was younger, like in her mid-30s. And then he just, they had their famous uh, conscious uncoupling. And then he's like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of 40-year-old Gwyneth Potro and go with 26-year-old Dakota Johnson. You can do that when you're a man with high sexual market value. And even though I'm not a big fan of Coldplay's music, a lot of people like Coldplay, so he can do that. So they've been dating for some time. And it's interesting because Dakota Johnson, Gwyneth Paltrow, Brad Falchuk, who's Paltrow's new husband, I would say new for the last few years, they all vacation together. They all hang out. Talk about great co-parenting. But she needs to have kids. She's a beautiful woman and third generation Hollywood icon. Tippi Hedren's her grandma. Melanie Griffin's her, her mother. She needs to have kids for that reason. And the number one woman who needs to have kids, and let's see if you can guess what this, who this is, who's the fifth of this list would be, of course, Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie's gorgeous. Margot Robbie's in her mid-30s. Her, her, her husband, Tom Ackerlane, they have uh, the Lucky Chat production company that, I mean, is probably worth a billion now because given that they financed the Barbie. Um, you know, you probably saw her breakout role, probably not in Pan Am, the TV show, but in Wolf of Wall Street. I mean, she's just, just, just beautiful. Um, I do have an episode here, I think, how Samara Weaving, another Australian, looks very similar to her. But Margot Robbie's gorgeous, and it would be like a truly a crime against humanity if Margot Robbie doesn't have a kid. And so, in closing, <clears throat> I think a lot of these women, maybe they broke out later. Now, Margot Robbie's been big for over 10 years, so I... I I'm worried that they're putting their career in front of their fertility. You know, look, I could be wrong. Maybe none of these women want to have kids. I would say that I think most of these kid, women want to have kids. Maybe not Alison Brie, but no, Alison Brie has admitted that she wants to have kids. So I think all these women do want to have kids. And I think some of them who are late bloomers, like someone like Anna de Armas, who really didn't break out big until she was 31. And maybe you look at, um, uh, I think Karen Gillan didn't break out until a little later, even the doctor who was kind of early in her career. I don't know. You're beautiful women. You should have done the route of Blake Lively, have a bunch of kids, get married, of course, have a bunch of kids, be in a steady relationship. And I'm just worried for you ladies because I don't want you to go down the road of one of my 90s icon, Heather Graham, who's so beautiful, still is beautiful, and never had kids. Renee Zellweger at her peak, Jerry Maguire, another beautiful woman, never had kids. I don't want you to make that mistake. So ladies, please have children. Guys, post in the comments. Let me know if there's another beautiful actress that you think I've missed or you think I'm just a male chauvinistic pig who objectifies women. Post in the comments. Until next time, take care. God bless and pray.